Clive Wexler. I'm surprised you don't remember him, because he sure remembered you. I remember Clive. It was just a long time ago. Where'd you even meet him? On a case. Yeah, a police officer found him unconscious in his driveway. Is he all right? Mm -hmm. He's fine. He was just fixing an old convertible and shocked himself, so he ended up with a bump on the head. He still has that car. He said you two went way back. He wasn't that forthcoming, though, with the details on how you knew each other. You know, from the neighborhood. I'm home. Sorry I'm late. Oh, let me help you with that. Oh, thank you. Kids not in? Karen took Harry and Denny to get some ice cream. Oh. What about me? Uh, I said you could make it. Scarred for life. Oh. <laughs> What's up with the box? Uh, evidence from an old cold case. Actually, is why I called you here. I need a consultant. Me? Someone robbed the Farewell Casino. When? I didn't hear about that. 1987. And they got away? They usually don't make it out the front door. They usually don't make it out with all their teeth, either. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get you some wine. Thank you, baby. Thanks. So how much are we talking? A million in chips. Guy in a motorcycle helmet came in, drew a gun on the dealer, and then cleared him out. How many tables did he hit? Well, as far as I know, just the one. That's a lot of money for one table. When I was a dealer, we used a 12-barrel tray with 60 chips per barrel. Depending on the time of day, I might have anywhere from 100 grand to half a mil in my table. Mm, it was 8 a.m. on a Wednesday. Must have been a special request from a high roller. It's not uncommon, but usually somebody has to sign off on a request. Mm, Y'all do that a lot at casinos? If we know him, sure. A fool and his money are soon parted. <laughs> and it's our job to make that parting as easy as possible. Savage. A million dollars. Don't get too excited. Even if I find it, we can't keep it. Yeah. It's an interesting mystery, though. A masked man gets away with a million dollars. Never seen or heard from ever again. And the chips never turned up either? Not until today. Wait a minute, D.B. Cooper only made away with 200,000. How many books and documentaries have there been about him? And yet we've never heard of this biker bandit. Ooh, I like that. Catchy. Casinos pride themselves on their security. Can't have people thinking it's like knocking over a 7-Eleven. Damn, Ma. You really know everything about casinos. I work there. And maybe our thief did, too.